Holy crap, how'd you find out where I live? There was an issue, Frankie. Is he dead? Yes, he's dead, but... I don't see what the problem is then. That was the last time I sent him a toast crunch. Please don't. The man you hired me to kill is dead, but there are five witnesses. Five witness? I thought you were the best out there. I am. I didn't count on five other people being there. Are they going to the police? No, I took care of it. So why should we be worried? Because they're still out there, and someone knows the truth. Isn't that more of a you problem? They didn't see my face. No, Frankie. This is an us issue. The picture you gave me with the contact information was left at the scene. Due to the fact you haven't been talked to by the law enforcement yet, I'm assuming the five boys have the picture. Please don't kill me. I don't want my last meal to be Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I'm not going to kill you. I'm going to kill the five kids that saw what happened. And you're going to pay for this. Why would I do that? Because if you don't, you're going to jail. Fine, I'll pay you, but on a decreased salary. This is your mistake. And I'm going to need a couple days to get the cash out. So what do we know about Frankie Richardson? We know that he was shot and then strangled to death and that we saw it happen. True. First of all, we know a name. That alone is huge. Someone see if they can find him on social media. On it. Do you think the two people knew each other before the death occurred? They had to, right? The murderer saw us there and still persisted on killing Frankie then and there. He must have pissed him off big time. I can't find any gram accounts that have a guy who looks like the man in the picture. Damn. Obviously, this isn't going to be easy. Answers aren't just going to magically come to us. I think I found his address. What now? I searched up his name on this website, and it says there's one Frankie Richardson in the area. To get his address, we got to sign up for a subscription, though. What the shit? Oh, hell no. I got 10 on it. Seriously? I got 10 on it, too. You know what I was going to use this for? What's that? I was going to donate it to charity. Oh, yeah? And what charity is that? The, uh... No more AIDS charity. Gotta get rid of them AIDS. Alright, Ben. Bye. What's it say? He lives in our town, not even 15 minutes away. Alright, so now that we dropped 50 bucks on that, what are we supposed to do now? I could break into his house. Think about it. The man is dead. No one could bust us. What if he's got a family? Come on, you think a man that was strangled to death in the middle of a parking lot at midnight still lives with his parents? I think it's a good idea. Boom. Me too. This is the piece of the puzzle that we need. If Frankie knew the murderer, then we could possibly find out the name. And if we find out the name, we could go to the police. Is everyone on board with this? Hi, Carl. <laughs> Judy, what's up? I just wanted to apologize about McKenna today. She... No, no, actually, I would like to apologize. I wasn't in a good mood earlier because I had a lot on my mind. I liked your mood. Well, if you like that, imagine what it would be like hanging out with me when I didn't have a dead body on my mind and wasn't trying to solve a murder. <laughs> okay, now that we've decided Ben will break into Frankie's house, let's move on to something more important, like what kind of pizza we should order. Cheese, please. You're joking, right? What's wrong with cheese? It's so boring. What do you like on your pizza, Liam? Pineapple? No. Let's do half sausage, half pepperoni. Wait a minute. I was under the impression we were getting two pizzas. Fine. One sausage, one pepperoni. Who are you on the phone with? And that was Judy. Judy? Oh, snap! I haven't even told you guys yet. Told us what? Last night I was with Judy. Oh, and how was that? I'm glad you asked. It was great. It was really great. We met on a park bench for like 20 minutes until a barista from the next door to Starbucks came up to us and stopped us because we were detracting customers. But then a worker from the puke bucket factory next door came over and thanked you for giving them customers. <laughs> I think I may actually like her. That's a change. At least you're getting some romance out of it. Dude, and her lips were- All right. While you were in the other room, we decided we'll execute the break-in tomorrow morning. I think only one of us should go with Ben. Drive him to the house and wait outside in the car. That way if we get caught, it's not all five of us and it's just two. I agree. I'm gonna go order the pizzas now. Carl, you wanna come with me? Sure. You positive you up for this? I was born to do this, Carl.